still on this man. Oh, baby, say hello. Uh, it's another day on the go, but we're currently in Ibado and we're gonna go eat some amala. So, when you come to Nigeria, if, especially if you're Yoruba, you must eat amala. That's like Erangbe is bush meat. They say we should not eat Erangbe again because of um, all these diseases. Don't want that. Okay, so I just bought this in traffic. Um, if you're a fit fam, you might not be interested. But if you've not been to Nigeria in a long, long time, then you wouldn't know Biggie. It's a new beverage company in Nigeria. And I really like this is the bitter lemon. Sorry, bitter lemon. Bitter lemon, ba? Bitter lemon. <laughs> it's really nice. It gives the vibe of Schweppes. So if you know Schweppes, well, Schweppes is back now in cans. But Schweppes, when Schweppes was in like glass bottles, same kind of same vibe. What? And this one is like as if there's fire, but it's just from this one car. Jesus, Lord God. Oh my God. Let me show you again. It is not a joke. This really came from the exhaust of this car. And if you noticed, a lot of the other cars couldn't even pass because the cloud or the smoke was so thick and they were just kind of waiting in the back. Um, so we got to where my parents were with a really, really special guest from the abroad that we were taking to try Amala. Um, and you know, this is the way leading to the Amala spot. And this is the Amala spot is close to UI. I'll show the UI just means the University of Ibado, and I'll show you. Um, this particular restaurant, my dad had spoken a lot about it. I think it's an Indian restaurant, and they had even tried it. So he was just showing us, you know, that it was really good. So here we are arriving at Amala Sky. The original name for this place is Oshio Lauren Food Canteen, aka Sky Food. Um, at the end, later on, I'll tell you why um, they call it Sky, Amala Sky, or Sky Food. Why the nickname? Um, and you should watch it because it's not it's not a long vlog. So this is us after parking. This is the second entrance. There's a different entrance in the front. Um, we're going in, and as you can see, there's a large sitting area this is one part of the sitting area and there's another part so we will actually walk into the other part but you can view the serving area just a little bit and then we finally came back to where we were coming from um because we found an empty table where we could eat any meat preference or every meat that we eat in a world Meet my dad, Mr. King, aka JK, aka King of Boys, aka. <laughs> oh my god, I love them so much. My dad and my mom are explaining the different types of meats that they have in this particular spot and um, just assuring the guests that it's nice and all of that. They're an amazing host to have if you're coming from outside of Nigeria. They would like to show you everything that's great about Nigeria and even take you to the best spots like this one to have a good time. So this is the swallow point where they serve Amala white, Amala black, fufu and all these swallows. And here is the soup point where they serve Wegiri and Ewedu. You can have it as Abula, that's with the Amala or you can have it separately like I like to have it. Um, and then my dad also likes to order meat separately. Yeah, but they can put some stew for you on it. So this is the combo, guys. This is like our own hamburger. This is it. <laughs> and that's how I like mine. Like soup separate, amala separate. Because I just feel like, I feel like the amala absorbs the soup. And I'm not just comfortable with it. So, yeah, thank you. I mean, no to abula. Let me know. If you eat amala, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer to have the soup on it? Or do you prefer to have it separate? Um, another thing I would like to, to do is order the meat separately, like you can see. This particular one has pomo, ogufe, which is goat's meat, and just a lot of orishi rishi. The next one has fish and snail, um, and this is my plate, and I'm about to just dive in. Dive in. Dive in! Imagine how, because I was really hungry when I was taking these clips. Imagine how tempting it was for me, but I just had to take the clips for you guys. For you! 
oh my god so now everybody's taking their um snail portions i'm not so much a fan of snail i eat snail not so much but i'd rather have goat's meat i have a goat's meat video that's doing so well on youtube you might want to check it out i'll add the link on the top so let me know are you a team goat meat or a team snail let me know in the comments a ah, few moments later this is this is this is the result this is that the damage is made you can tell that we had a great great time it wasn't spicy um it was just perfect and for our when you both guess to say that it was perfect then you know it was perfect and she finished she cleared her plate <laughs> oh it was really nice so thank you jk and nana for this afterward they have hand washing stations um with um liquid soap that you can use to wash your hands um and i was able to wash my hands really good you know wash your nails when you use your hands to eat you have to be able to wash your hands as well so this was really really nice and afterwards i decided to wash it down with some water um, you can get any drink you like there, but I wanted water. Oh, yo. See where they are cooking. This is where the magic happens. This is the bank that used to be called Sky Bank, but it's a different bank now. And that's why the canteen took on the name of Sky Food. Um, when we were done, we turned around and were on our way back. This is the University of Ibadan. UI as popularly called um, this is a uh, clips of inside of UI I have a vlog that I've done earlier about life in Ibadan and we went in there and um, actually even went to the zoo with Zoe so UI is so beautiful this is called the Tekena and Tamuna building those people who went to UI that are watching please let us know in the comments I find it very nostalgic very beautiful and I really like how everywhere is green green you can tell that these things were planned and thought out nowadays you don't find things like this anymore like look how huge this tree is you can tell that for it to be this big then it must have been thought out a long long time ago and the buildings as well the buildings are really beautiful so the time we came here we took Zoe to the zoo but it was when just right after coronavirus was over and it wasn't open yet but she had a very good time because she still played with the animals outside so this is the popular ui zoological garden and it has lions and animals just a lot of animals inside i've actually never been here and it was really sad but this lady was nice enough to you know tell us she'll let us know when they're open again um zoe was not happy about it but she had fun Okay, let's go to the lion. No, the lion. It's so long and big. It's so windy. It's so windy. After spending time with the lion and some of the animals, taking pictures, asking questions, it was time to go. Um, another place where we stopped at in the University of Ibadan was the library. The library is so huge, guys, um, and I'll show you that in a minute. So she was ready to go at this point. This library is so big. It's a whole building. Of course, again, look at all this green greenery. Beautiful, beautiful trees. You can tell that they were planted a long, long time ago. So here's the library and it does look like um salvation army and goodwill stores in the u.s i don't know if it's just me but it does give that vibe it gives that vibe um so this is the bookshop and inside of it they have different sections this is pj obviously in the leadership section because that's his obsession <laughs> um, but we came here to get books for zoe we ended up getting books for everyone but we got really great deals that's what i'm trying to say so if you're trying to get books for your children consider you are if you ever are in Ibadan. We got maybe almost 30 books and we didn't spend up to 20,000 naira. So that was really nice. Thank you so much guys for watching. Um, the link to this particular vlog will be in the description below. So be sure to watch it. Until next time guys. Bye.